So, Shannon, how disappointing has Joel Embiid been to you? Skip, all, all the Sixers have is Embiid. Skip, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe he just doesn't seem like he's in shape to me. And, and, and I think that's the thing that because, you know, he plays like four or five games and then he'll miss three or four games. But it just see, always seems like he's learning. And I understand, Skip, he's a big man. He's seven foot tall, over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And so to, to think he's going to get up and down the court like David Robinson and, and Akeem Elijah wants Skip it is a bit unrealistic. Mm. But I still think he can get in better condition. I think he needs to change his eating habit, take his diet and training more serious. Um, but for me, in order for them to have a, even a chance, it needs to be 40-20, and I just think that's un unrealistic. Um, they maxed out Tobias Harris. They gave Al Horford 20. The Al, Hor Al Horford must be getting paid in Bitcoin because I don't know if people realize how much money he actually making, and he ain't been good in a long time. So they must be paying him in Bitcoin. Skip, they got $289 million tied up in those two guys. Mm -hmm. They maxed out Tobias Harris. To I, look, I ain't got no problem. Get your money. But he's not a max guy. Al Horford opted out of a contract with the Celtics and got here yep. and got major money. So, Skip, when you really look at it, the, Cel the, the Sixers are Joel Embiid and, and that's it. Yep. Skip, they can't beat this. They're not going to beat Boston. No. Nope. Boston had three guys again. They have three guys that average 20 in the regular season. Uh, Jason Tatum, 33. Kimba, 22. Jalen Brown. And those, none of those guys played basically 30 minutes. And they got 20 points. They can't do anything. I mean, look, I think Joel Embiid is a phenomenal talent. But Skip, they cannot beat the Sixers with just Joel and B. They don't have enough. They don't have enough pieces. And Brett Brown's gonna cost him his job. Yep. He's gonna get fired, Skip. Agreed. I, I'm sorry. I yep. like Joel and B. I think he's phenomenal, but I wish he. I think he should be in better shape. Yep. I hear you. Yet, if these were normal times, Game Three would be played back in Philadelphia. Where the Sixers, by the way, during the regular season were 29 and two yeah. at home. 29 and two. Best home. Okay, so to your point, after the game last night on TNT, the great Shaquille O'Neal said of Joel Embiid, he's a very, very talented young man. Mm -hmm. You would agree with that? Yes, absolutely. I definitely agree with that. Yes. I believe that Ben Simmons is a very, very talented young man. Both of them are missing something intangibly. Ben's missing a jump shot. Now he's missing in action because right. he's gone, obviously. So, and, and you don't think they fit together. I do. I've seen them fit together. I saw them against the eventual champion Toronto Raptors last year. It, it took the luckiest shot in the history of the NBA playoffs <laughs> to beat them in game seven. Do you remember that? I do. I forget the guy's name who made it, but he made it, and it bounced around the rim four times and finally fell through. And it took that to stop Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons from then getting to take on Milwaukee right. in the conference final. Who knows what would have happened there, but maybe they would have gotten to the championship, to the NBA finals. And that's why, before the year started, I picked the Sixers to win the East. Uh, I'm not picking them anymore because I do agree with you. Joel doesn't look like he's in any kind of shape to me. He looks a little pudgy. He looks a little soft. He just looks like he gets quickly winded mm -hmm. and he quickly loses heart. So what did we see last night? I think he said, okay, watch this. And what did he do in the first quarter? He took over the game. Yep. He scored 15 in the first quarter, made six of his first nine shots. And at one point, they jumped out to a 25 to 11 lead, and then they were up 31 to 18. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of lost a little bit of momentum in the second quarter, lost a little heart, and he scored seven. But at halftime, Joel Embiid had 22 points and seven rebounds and three assists. Not bad. No. On his way to 44, 14, and six. That, right. that would work. Yes. That, that'd be the kind of number yes. you say, yes. that could win that, that game, yes. right? Yes. That could overcome all those, yes. those stars, those rising stars in Boston. Right. Well, if we could see this, with eight minutes left in the third quarter, Josh Richardson tried an entry pass into Joel Embiid, who was trying to get some position. I think we have this clip, if we could see it. So he's trying to lob it in, and he lobs it so bad wide left that Tice just picks it off, and they go the other way. And it was still a fairly close game at that point, and then that was the end of that. And Joel Embiid was taken out of the game by Brett Brown and went over and sat and sulked and pouted and just hung his head. Yeah, because, Skip, I mean, he didn't even make no effort, I know. Skip. I, I and got then look it. at this. I got it. 
Okay, okay. I got it. So that's it. Get that's back. the best you can do to get, get back. back in position. Get back. And look get at back. it. Get Come back. Up. Try. Get your arms up. Can you even put a hand up? Come on now. Okay, I got it. He quit. He just said, I've had enough. If he, can, if he can't throw me a more accurate entry right. pass than that, because what does he think of Tice? What, Daniel Tice. What do you think he thinks he can do to him? Just just terrorize him, yeah. right? Well, Daniel Tice, he, well, he, he probably should have had the numbers that he ended with. He should have had those at the half against that guy. What do you think Shaq would have did against that guy? Uh, thank you. I do agree. I'm with you. So as much as I have loved Joel Embiid, I loved him at Kansas. In fact, an executive who works with the Sixers called me before that draft and said, what do you think of Joel Embiid? I said, I love him. Do you think he can stay healthy? I said, I doubt it. No. Because it usually just doesn't. It's not the case. You're too big with too many problems. Thank you. If you right? Skip, if you're having problems at 18 with your on lower extremities, mm -hmm. Imagine what happens when you get 20, 22, as you start to grow into your body. Tall, big, like I said, you, you look at Kareem was basically injury-free. But Kareem is, is a thin man he was to begin thin, with. He was. So you put a lot, that, that body, a whole a lot of 7'2", can hold 400 pounds and make it look like 325. Yep. I just don't see Joel get serious enough enough. You know what I mean? Where you're just, you're locked in. You, you don't have that look in your eye. He had it for a little while right. at the first, and then if it starts to go south, he's just like, ah, I'm out. But, Skip, a lot of times guys will, if you're in supreme physical condition, yep. you can go a lot. When other guys start to get, get tired, yep. now you can pick up an easy, quick four or six points. You can get them in trouble. But when you get winded, yep. when you get with Skip, that fatigue will make a coward at you. So guess what you do? Mm -hmm. You lallygag back on defense, mm -hmm. and then you get a, give up an and one, and then the coach take your butt out the game. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. By the way, that was Vince Lombardi who said that. Yes. Fatigue makes cowards of us yes. all, and it does. Skip, look, I, I get it. There, there are different levels of talent. Yep. We get that. Mm -hmm. But no one should say, no, get your butt in the gym, train your eating habits. Get, hey, everybody like burger and want to eat Nick I, I got it. But what's more important? Does he care enough? Th 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 thank you. That's know. what it comes down to. Yep. And and I'm starting to have to ask that question about young Zion. Does he care enough? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. All right. We'll find out. Two very, very talented young men. Yes. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.